Hello my friends, my name is Irvin, also known as Kobo-Man. Today's video is about registry items, registry DLLs and files and things. <laughs> so this is a tech support video, but okay, so imagine this. Imagine you install a software and let's just pretend that this is the software and you open it up. And instead of open it up like it normally does, like this, you get an error. It says, oh, I can't start because there is a file missing there is a you know registry file dll missing so uh, this is something you have to fix and it kind of looks like this uh, let me i guess i'll have to find a, an example for you all right missing dll error let's see images all right so yeah it kind of it looks like this basically where you know it just says program can't start because blah 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 is missing from your computer try reinstalling program to fix this problem and sometimes you tried that and it's you still may get this message so i'm going to let's see i'm going to save this uh, let's see how can i do this snipping tool i'm going to do a snipping tool here real quick because i want to keep track of this as an example of the error we're going to pretend that this is the error because everyone i want i want to close uh, edge here so let's say this is the error we're getting and we have to fix it this is your ticket this is something you have to work on as tech support and then the problem is though you can try to reinstall this program you can try to reinstall it and it may not work because a lot of times packages uh, that are used to install programs, especially in a business environment, may not be set up correctly. There may be an issue with it and it may omit certain files to be installed. So it doesn't matter whether you try to reinstall it in some situations, you still may not be able to install this DLL. You know? Okay. So what happens is you have to manually sometimes add these dll files so what you would have to do in this case is get a hold of the package uh, unpack it and see if the dll is there and if not reach out or you know to whoever does the software distribution for your company make sure that they give you uh, the correct dll's and registry files and or software owner because there might be a guy that's dedicated that deals with this specific software in your company. And then you're going to make sure that you get those files. So once you get those files, the first thing you're going to do is go to local disk C, go to Windows. And you're going to take those files. You're going to click copy. And then you're going to copy them over to System32. Okay. You're going to copy them into System32. And this is our go these are going to be 64-bit files that you're going to be copying over. You're going to copy them over into system Windows System 32 the, because this is where a majority of these DLL and registry files are stored. However, if it's a 32-bit software, you would go to SysWow64 within within the windows uh, folder as well so if it's a 32-bit application it's going to go in here c windows sys wow 64 and then again you would copy them over what i suggest is actually copying in both locations if you're unsure i mean you should be able to know whether it's 64-bit or not but it won't hurt anything as long as they're you know it won't hurt anything basically if you copy it in both locations and then once you copy over those missing DLL files in here and let's go ahead and pick an example I'm just gonna go in here syswow64 I'm gonna find one you know pretty much a random one and then we're going to register it and I'm gonna show you how to register it because you have to register it within registry the registry file because it's not going to work you're still gonna get the same pop-up you know similar to this you know, I know this one is specifically saying it's missing a DLL file. And I know that if you just replace the DLL file here, it just may work. You may not have to do anything. But for example, if it's a missing OSCX file, uh, let's see here. 
dot ocx tired of scrolling so i'm just gonna type in the extension if you find that you're missing a dot ocx file uh, then you're going to have to register it as well uh, chances are so how do you do that so you have to open up a command line and then you open it up as administrator in order to make modifications to the system and to simply uh, execute the registration of the files that you already copied over you just type in reg svr32 space and then type in the name of the file you just copied over now make sure that the application is closed in the background just in case it's running just to be sure it's not trying to open it up because what happens is if program is still trying to open it up and somehow holding on to it you may not be able to make these change anyways make sure everything is closed when it comes to relation to this program that's giving you an error and then just type in the name of the new file that you copy it over and then after of course reg svr32 and then just hit enter and it should work in this case it may not do anything because it's already working so uh, there is that but that's how you would do it you would just type in reg svr32 and the name of the file that you're trying to register and that program will know then you try the program again and it should work just fine all right so let's let's try this with a, just a random dll too okay here are this i'm going to try this pdhui.dll okay yeah so since i don't have any problems i can't recreate the successful okay so here's one that actually i actually found randomly i had to go through and randomly find uh, a dll that that i can re-register again here's one and this is the one that uh let's see here vssp dot underscore underscore ps uh this one here so i went ahead and re-registered it and this is the type of message you would get so whether it's a dll or svx once you successfully do it you will get this notification but if it if it keeps failing like it did for me three times that means that it's either missing or it's already done it's already uh you know done so if it keeps failing uh and then you keep you know it it keeps failing and then you did everything that you think you could make sure that you have both copies in syswow 64 and system 32 uh, just in case okay and then this should fix your problem this happens occasionally when software package is broken not able to install the application correctly and you know there might be some other reasons as well all right guys i hope you find this video useful for your tech support adventures maybe you learned something uh i, I hope you did leave me a comment let me know and uh, look forward to more videos in the future take care bye bye